Hello everyone. For today's video we will be discussing cards that I believe should come on or come off the forbidden and limited list. Obviously I have the credentials to tell you about my top tier opinion because I have over 500 subscribers so you must take what I say to be completely accurate with no debate. Every subscriber makes this joke less funny so make sure to subscribe to end this joke sooner. Moving on I am going to have this broken down in sections from cards that should be banned to limited to semi limited to off the list completely. Starting off in the banned section is Arch Nemesis Protus. I actually find the Sword Soul deck pretty balanced due to its lack of recovery plays it does past its turn 1 combo. However, Arch Nemesis Protus makes this deck a bit over the top in the fact it can steal games by itself without any counterplay whatsoever. Calling Dark against PK, Water in the Mirror match, or Light against Dritran is just unbalanced based on how this card essentially can turn an entire archetype off by itself. Next is Banning Imperial Order this card turns off one third of the game of UGR. Cards that can generically do that are just unhealthy and I am surprised to this day that this came back off the list in the first place still. Not much else to say about it. Losing to it feels bad almost as much as winning with it because no way anyone says GG after the match. Both players just shrug their shoulders and accept they've been robbed of a real game of a go. Last for bans is Artifact Scythe. Scythe is a card that when it came out, 2014, was very balanced because decks were very much less dependent on the extra deck plus games would last more than 2 turns. But now with how fast the game has turned, being able to play one scythe with either Artifact Dagda or three Artifact Sanctum to lock your opponent out of the extra deck for a turn is definitely unbalanced. Cards like this are the reason that makes the game so unenjoyable in my opinion. Again to reiterate, I don't think this is a poorly designed card for the time, but rather the power creep and the direction that the game went that made this card into a problem. Next up is the limited section. I actually do not think a lot of things deserve to go to one right now so I have only one card for this section and that is Lyrilisk, Recital Starling. In today's meter this is the only card I see getting abused in multiples because it has no hard ones per turn on it. This leads into it being made into an easy F0 play then into a safe full combo. Putting this card to one will stop this which should put this deck in check. For the semi limited list I have two cards that can be added to this list. The first being Salamangrid Gazelle. I know this is a debate between this or Salamangrid Circle, but the reason I say Gazelle is that Konami will usually go after the search cards as precedent in previous list hits and I think the same applies to this even though its cards are coming back. It's just my opinion but it's what I can honestly see happening for the deck. This deck isn't broken regardless it has a low power ceiling so giving it back some consistency would be nice and I think is the more realistic way of doing it. The other card for the semi limit is Dynamite Knight, the true Draco Fighter. This is a deck that has been so overhit that bringing this back to 2 will do nothing. I think it can go to 3 honestly but just just how Konami brings things back it needs to go to 2 first. It's a step in the right direction for this overhit deck which could definitely use some more light in its future. And lastly for coming off the ban list. There are really so many cards that can get moved up but from future product releases and the previous list I would say Emergency Teleport firstly. With the trajectory from the previous list and the TCG exclusive archetype being psychic I can undoubtedly see this card coming off the list. For similar reasons the next card is Performable Skullcrib at Joker. These penned best deck cards seem to be slowly coming off the forbidden and limited list and I don't see it slow down until it starts to see major results. It can definitely do great things but the deck has its issue with hard counter cards such as Dark Ruler No More and Roll and Lock Bird. These limits I think justify this deck getting some more cards returned to it. And that is it, I cannot see banned cards coming off the list this time around because I don't see any benefit to it in the current game state. Thank you all for watching. Also my apologies for lack of content and streams. I contracted COVID-19 and have been resting but I am almost at full recovery. Thank you for understanding.